Hello and welcome to my Sunday show. Uh, now, um, as always, I have a special guest that comes through, um, generally from the Bible area, and today we have uh, Mother Mary. And before I connect to Mother Mary, um, she's standing by the side of me, before I connect, I just want to say that if you enjoy my shows or want to see more of my shows, don't forget to subscribe down down below and press the um, little alarm which will give you notifications um, so that you won't miss a show. So let's get going with, with Mother Mary and let's see what she wants to say. Um, she's saying that she is extremely happy to be here today and she says that when she was alive um, she's very, she's been funny. Uh, when she was alive, she never had any, any of these sort of equipment like computers and, and, and cameras and things like that. And she's rather fascinated with what I'm doing here and, and, and how it's all working. And she says that, um, we would, would spread the word through word of mouth. So one person would tell another person would tell another person. And that's how things got around. But she says today um, there's the Internet and, 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 and everything that, that is, is available to all of us. Um, but she wants to say that um, she has um, urged Gail um, many times to, to do the, these shows and it was always her idea that she felt was really important. She wanted to get, she wants to get our words out to, to the world and she wants to show people that, that we are all alive and we are all, you know, alive and kicking and, and, and are able to communicate. And she says that when, when she, um, She's saying to me that her role as, as, as a humanitarian in, in the spirit world is, 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 a, is a role that she takes exceptionally seriously. Um, she always tries to help mankind wherever possible, and particularly babies and children. She has a very fond, a great fondness for babies and children, and she looks to help them wherever, wherever possible. She, she says that um, she also, um, even though she's in the spirit world, she prays too, and she will pray to God. Now, she also says that she is in a unique situation where she is able to communicate with him as well. But she says that she, she will pray and, and pray very hard on a daily basis to let... Um, all the people in the spirit world know that she needs their help for certain things in the world. Her main focus is, is, is obviously um, mankind. Her main focus is, and she says that her focus has, has actually taken a little bit of a shift. And that shift is that she wishes to help people understand that there is a God and understand that we are here, understand that we are willing to help you. And she wants people to understand the power of prayer. She wants people to understand that there is a way forward in life and that is communicating with our world. She doesn't want people to turn their backs on her or her son or, or the apostles or God or or the saints, or anyone that is in the spirit world that is highly evolved. She says that the only way forward in her mind is to communicate her words. And she, she says that she, is, she has chosen me to communicate her words to many people and show them that there is a better way of life. Show them that they can indeed be connected to her and they can indeed be connected to her son and God and all the wonderful people that are in the spirit world, just eagerly wanting to help you in your lives. She talks about how she has, you know, she, she has a great wish that mankind will not neglect the, the real essence of the spirit world um, because she feels 
that she, she watches as people slowly turn their backs on religion and don't embrace the truths of, of our world. And she says that it is a great sadness and it brings tears to her, to her heart and her, and her eyes because she says that if only people would understand that we are here to help. We are here because we have love in our hearts and we want to always be there to help you. She's hoping that as we move forward in life and with her messages through me, she says that she hopes that people will become to understand that we are in existence and that we are true to our word where we always are willing to help. And she feels that if people are able to listen to these words and listen to and have and create an understanding of the truth of, of our world, then it would be a wonderful, wonderful job. Well done. She's asking people as a first step to always consider that her son sacrificed his life for for mankind to show them that there is another way that there is a way to be and, and a way to be where you operate from your heart you have love in your heart and you wish to always be of help and service to mankind she hopes that people will listen to her words because she has thought these words out very seriously and and worked them out before she spoke to me and she feels that she has, it's like, it's, it's almost like she's saying to me that she is pleading with the general public to listen to these words and, and invite all of them into, into their hearts and to listen to the words so that they truly will have love in their hearts too and they will do good in the world as does she and, and all of her family and friends in the spirit world. So thank you for listening and thank you Mother Mary for coming forward and if you like the show don't forget to subscribe, press the bell and see you next week. Goodbye.